Good morning, everyone, and thank you for attending our um, session on eliminating errors uh, prone spreadsheet stuff. And uh, we're going to be introducing to you the uh, Sage HRMS product line that will assist you with that uh, task. Um, the presentation will be uh, sponsored by uh, Ryan Watson. He is um, the field sales engineer for Sage. Uh, my name is Angela Nigro, and I'm with the uh, DNA team uh, in Ottawa. So without further ado, um, Ryan, uh, please um, um, proceed. All right, thank you, Angela, and welcome, everyone. My name is Ryan Watson, as Angela said. I am a field sales engineer with SAGE. I am part of the team for Canada as well as the Western United States. So when I like to start out our presentations, I really like to start out with just talking about SAGE and our, our main vision here at SAGE. And that is to be recognized as the most valuable supporter of small and medium-sized companies by creating greater freedom for you to succeed. Now, you may have noticed that in our mission statement we don't use the word software. And that's because here at SAGE we go well beyond just providing software. We here at SAGE, as well as our business partners, we're all passionate about helping organizations achieve their goals as well as being successful. So you may be wondering, how does human resource management software contribute to the set success of an organization? Well, the first ask yourself, what makes an organization? So if you look around, compare companies that from the outside are pretty similar with kind of the same products, services, they target the same market segment, you might notice large differences in their business results. So why is it that some companies are thriving while others are suffering to stay in business? What is the distinct differences between a good company and a great company? The answer to these questions can only truly be found when we start to look inside of what makes an organization. And what an organization is built off is its people. The people make up a company and are the company's unique and biggest assets. Ask any CEO, and that is most likely what they're going to tell you as well. For the most companies, it's their largest expense, or to be better put, its largest investment. And as everybody knows, every investment truly needs a healthy return on that investment. Here at Sage, we like to really redefine this rather than looking at it as an ROI. We like to call this our return on employee investment. So a company is only as good as its employees. We're used to talking about a company as if the organization itself is a person. But an organization does not have ideas, does not give service, and is by itself not efficient nor productive. The people of the organization, they do and they are. So how we treat our employees and what we invest in our employees has a huge influence on the bottom line. Investing in and managing your human capital has in many cases a larger effect than investing in marketing or R&D. So in short, it's all about attracting and retaining the right talent. Now that we've discussed how employees have access to it, there's another side of it, and that is how you manage your employees, and this also makes a large difference. Keeping with the theme of today, which is eliminating error-prone spreadsheets, Spreadsheets, just, they do not cut it anymore. They don't have a recording capability. They have lack of security. They can be very unreliable as well as inaccurate. And most importantly, they don't have a single point of truth. There's no integration or interfacing a spreadsheet to payroll or to time and attendance solutions. So with Sage HRMS, it's created by and for HR professionals. It is task and process oriented completely customizable and allows for add-ons such as employee self-service and can be extended with payroll processing. Sage HRMS 
is a modular and comprehensive solution that is designed to attract, retain, develop, motivate, engage, and manage your workforce. Being that it is modular, you get exactly what you're looking for, what you need, and what you want. You're not required to buy a complete solution and only utilize, say, 50% of it. You get exactly what you're looking for. This customizable solution, it enables you to decisively meet and respond to your HR management challenges within your organization with the integrated payroll, benefits, recruiting and onboarding, employee self-service, time and attendance and analytical capabilities, Sage HRMS helps you to maximize every dollar you invest in your employees. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take a jump into the actual software itself. I'm going to do a short demo of the core HR as well as the employee self-service capabilities. So when I log in, the entire solution is configured to your needs. Things such as the organization levels, job titles, job codes, benefit information, all of this is configured to you. So you may see some job titles or, or job codes or even different organizations that you may not agree with. The, the labeling is all configured to your sources. So when we first log in, you'll have your Sage resources, most notably product documentation, the ability to connect to Sage University for training for all Sage products, ability to connect directly with our live chat support team, as well as the ability to give us product feedback directly to our Sage product managers. So if there are ever any things that you're looking to enhance on this, you can send that information directly to our PMs, and they can find out how to get this into future updates of the software. More importantly, to make it a little bit easier on you, we also give you the ability to add in your own custom links into the solution. So if there's a lot of places you go to when you're editing employee data, you can have that link directly inside of HRMS. And it doesn't have to just be websites, it can also be locations on your computer. Now, as we're editing or working with employee data, of course you can search for employees by their name, first name, last name, ID, the status within the organization, but you can also further define the parameters of your search. Anytime you make a selection or start typing, it's automatically going to re-filter your information. Once we're inside the employee, we're going to have all of their demographic information, their personnel information, as well as the ability to store your pipe deck consent, HR information such as the original hire date, I'm sure you have employees that may leave and come back because the grass isn't always green and around the other side, so we track that rehire date as well as the ability to track adjusted seniority and adjusted time off dates. Now you may be asking yourself, what are these? These are dates that we're tracking here in case you ever have any employees that may have negotiated a different onboarding package. For example, they accrue at a fifth year rate rather than a first year rate for their time off package. And we do this so you can remain confident that whenever you run reports for, say, original hire dates, you have accurate data inside your data uh, inside your reporting. We'll also be tracking employee eligibility such as visa information and give you the ability to add in your own user defined fields. And we'll see this in a few other places and we'll also discuss the fact that we can do custom detail panes at the end of this presentation. We're tracking termination information, type, reason, notes, as well as is this employee rehirable, yes or no? So when we look at the task to rehire an employee, it's automatically going to filter out rehirable employees that have been terminated. Now as we go through, we'll be tracking leave of absence information, any, any of these fields that have records, you can always click the plus to further examine more in-depth information, track events on the employee file such as certifications, effective dates that they receive the certification, expiration dates. And with the alerts and workflow module, we can even have these notifications sent out to the employee, to the manager, to HR, so everybody is aware of what's going on. And just as some more examples, these here are just a few examples of what we can do. But since this is your solution, you can add in your own new codes at any time. 
You can also track notes on the employee file, and we'll, we'll see in a little bit in the employee self-service, a manager has access to the add notes to the file as well. But if we have a note from HR, a manager won't be able to see that in the employee self-service. So if you ever have an employee manager conflict, you can remain um, you can remain confident that your information is secure so you don't have any chance of retaliation because the manager saw a comment that he shouldn't see. Also track attachments to the employee file such as resumes or photos, scanned copies of something. We don't limit you in any of the data that you're tracking here. You can also track in spreadsheets, Word documents, video files, or even audio files. Whatever you're looking to track can be added into the attachments to the employee file. And of course, to sum up the personnel file, we'll also be tracking emergency contact information. Now, rather than just going through the job and, and pay information, what I'd like to do is really go through the task of changing job and pay for an employee. So we're going to still work with Adrian Jones here. Each of these tasks are all configured to your needs. So the individual steps are steps that are configured that you're looking to set up for your individual task. You can mark these as complete now, schedule them for either yourself or for another employee to complete at a later date and time. And it's going to walk you through each individual step. We can also track salary grade ranges or comp ratios based off of the job, the job code. Also have shift premiums inside the system. And all of our rates are based upon salary, hourly, and the, the frequency as well as an annual pay. So there's multiple routes that we can track pay information. As well, we'll be tracking information such as their review information, pay effective dates, and some of this information we'll see in a moment will be carrying through each step. So if I change this to say October 1st, 2016 is when this effect is coming in play, and we're going to leave it as a remaining of a performance increase then we apply this and we continue. It's going to create a job history file, and we'll see that here in a moment as well. It just walks you through each individual step. Tracking the job information, the employee type, and the salary hourly. But as you can see, the change reason and that effect date come over. Tracking their organization levels, who they report to, if they have secondary supervisors, all this information being tracked inside of HRMS. Now when we continue, the system will automatically also recalculate benefit information for anything that's tied to earnings, such as company paid life insurance. You can put in when these new, the new benefits take effect on, and as well as any reason. Click OK, and it will update all the benefits that are tied to those earnings. So now that we've seen the current pay, the current job, when we look into that job history, it's taking a snapshot of that point in time when that change occurred. Everything from new hire throughout their organization or throughout their career with your organization. So if we come back to say January 1st, 2011, you can see his job, all of his information here, where he was in the organization, who to at that point in time, as well as his pay and performance. If you were tracking any user-defined fields, it will take those into consideration when it takes that snapshot as well. Tracking full benefit information inside the system, so any company paid life insurance or dental information can be tracked in here as well as dependent and beneficiary information. You can track attendance plans inside the system as well and this can be in any number of um, plans that you may have, whether it's vacation, sick time, PTO, and if you have different plans for hourly and salary employees, they can all be tracked inside the system. Some of the other things outside of the typical HR solution that we can automate, things such as safety, your occupational health and safety, can be automated inside the system. So when it comes to filing your WSIBs, that can be automated. Track each individual case, when we open them up, we'll see date and time information, restricted work, where this actually occurred, this incident, as well as what happened. What was the employee doing when this incident occurred? What part of the employee was injured? What type of injury was it? 
what treatment did this employee receive, as well as any workers' comp information such as lost time or even medical costs can all be tracked inside the system. Some of the, the final things that we're tracking in here is career information, whether it's skill information, education, or if you find it applicable, we can even track previous employment. Now, if there is anything inside the system that we were looking to track but isn't there out of the box by Sage, we can create these custom detail panes. Now, when we look at these, the very first thing that may be triggered when you hear the word custom is I have to pay somebody to come in and do these. Well, that's the complete opposite. And to show you how easy this is, all we're going into is the settings. And we're going to build a create a brand new custom page. And I'll show you in just a matter of seconds how easy it is. You can edit existing ones or build brand new ones. I'm not very creative, so I'm going to just name this new page and hit OK. I have a blank sheet to work with. Anywhere I click, I can bring in existing fields that Sage built into the software, and I'll show you why that's nice here in a moment as well. Pull in existing fields that you've already created or add in brand new fields. So for this example, we're just tracking if we issued a key to an employee, we name that field, we type the database field that's going to be on your server, as well as the data type that we're accepting. If you're looking for, say, a number that's on that key, we can track character or numerical. We can limit the length of it, drop it down, increase it. In my case, I'm just tracking a logical yes or no. Did we issue a key? Click OK. I have a brand new spot to track data for this employee. Now, when we go back and we look into those custom panes, some of this data that we can track, things such as a company car may have been issued to an employee, to track the information about the auto tag, driver's license information, color of that car, track a lot of this information as well as if there's any other, any other property that you may have issued, such as a company cell phone or a laptop, tools, anything that you've issued the employee can be tracked inside the system. Now the nice thing with this is this doesn't sound like it's part of HR to be tracking this, and I would say you're correct on that. We can set up security inside the system so that maybe IT has access to these custom panes, but they don't have access to these other fields, so they actually wouldn't see these other detail panes. So whenever someone from IT logs in, they would only see this custom detail and the ability to have access to the custom panes that they need to have access to. And some other nice things in here is that we can pull data from other areas inside the system, such as an employment verification. Rather than going through four or five different locations, you can have the solution pull that information for you. Now that we've completed all of this information, including the custom detail pans, which we'll see in reporting how we can pull that information as well. We have about 100 reports that are standard on the HR side of the solution. All of our reports are built on a crystal report, so if you have knowledge on it and there is a report that, say, has 9 out of 10 items that you're looking for, you can open that report inside of crystal reports, add that 10th item, and have a new standard report for you, as well as if it had additional fields that you don't need, you can remove them. So with that being said, we do include Crystal reports with the license of Sage HRMS. But some of the reports that we have the capability of doing is things such as compensation reports, showing you salary history is a very simple one. Any of these that you don't need information with that Crystal report can be pulled off or added. These are all standard out of the box. Organization reports, we saw earlier those event files. We can adjust standard criteria, different departments, or even single employees or range of employees that we're looking to look at. Each individual port has a specific criteria as well that is different for each one. For this example, we're looking at that event report. So maybe I'm looking for any employees that have expiring certifications between this date range. When I preview this, it's going to look through my entire solution to see any employees that have certifications that expire their next due date is between January 1st and December 31st of this date range. It's going to break it down by each individual employee with those individual uh, certifications that are expiring. 
also do things such as leave reports, um, occupational health and safety, which we saw earlier, and your WSIB reports can be automated inside the system, so it'll fill out all pages of the solution, uh, of the report, I mean, as well as things such as benefit reports, or probably one of my favorite inside this solution is the benefit letter, which is more of a total compensation letter. So as we tab through these, you'll see that the information delineates, redelineates the information based off of each employee that we're on. And being that this is a crystal report, you may have different verbiage or different wording that you like to utilize for your reports. All this can be configured to that. What this is showing us here is any benefits that this employee is enrolled in. If they do have a contribution, it shows their contribution as well as the employer's. And then talks about their annual pay and then above and beyond their annual pay, what the employer is paying for their total package. Now that we've looked at some of these um, reports that are standardized, we also offer something called Secured Query, which is a quick report to get you data out of the system so you can further manipulate that data or further organize and build out graphs for that data. This, you give, we give you every field for your organization that we're tracking in here, whether it's something that is built out of the box by Sage or a custom field that you may have created. So very simple to utilize. You're pulling each of the, the fields that you're looking to track, how you're wanting to track this data or group this data, I should say, sort it or filter. In this example, we're just looking for active employees by department, so we're just looking for employees that are an A or an L for active or leave of absence, and then how we're looking to output this information. Is it going to be through a simple PDF? Is it going to be an office file, whether it's Excel document or even database file? So we, we have multiple ways that we can get the data out, and then we're running this query. It's going to populate directly into Excel, so from here, you can refilter the data, you can create pivot tables or, or charts, graphs if you need to, or you can do what if analyses, whatever you need to do within Excel or, or outside of the solution, you have that capability. Now when it comes to the employee self-service side of this, the employee will have access to their data from any internet browser. What I'll be utilizing today is Internet or is Google Chrome, but if you have employees that utilize Internet Explorer or Mozilla Firefox or even Safari for Apple users, they'll have access to their data. Now with every HR system, it's designed to make the HR reps life as easy as possible, not to add in workload. So some simple solutions such as a first time user or even an employee for getting their password you're not going to have to have them come knocking at your door, taking five minutes of your time every time somebody forgets the password. They can do this right on their own. And when they log in, you have full control of what an employee has access to. So as an administrator, you have that ability to actually load down what an employee does or does not have access to. If it, is it view only? Or if they can update it, does it go through a notification or an approval process? If it does, who will be the approval, and who's going to be notified. So you have access for not only for the employees and limiting what they have access to, but also on the manager side. So as we're going through this, as an employee, they'll have access, of course, into their personnel information, their address, and if they are allowed to change it, they'll see the edit button that they can click on. And if it does require approval prior to updating HRMS, they'll have prior knowledge of that be able to edit their phone information or their contact information, dependents, beneficiaries, emergency contacts, whatever you're looking to give them access to to make your life easier and updating your system, you'll be able to do that. Also have access to view their current benefit information, and if you would like the employer contribution to be shown, it can be. You can also post different links in areas of the solution. So, for example, if you have benefit pages and they need to see what their coverage is or any information or contact information, you can load the links right to their websites here. Another portion of the solution that the employee can see is their contact inform or their compensation information, I mean, the complete history of their compensation, 
their job information, as well as their performance information. If they're using Sage 300 payroll or Sage HRMS payroll, they'll even be able to view their pay history here. They can always come in at that time, open up their pay stubs so they can download it. Whenever you have an employee that may be applying for a loan or a mortgage, you'll never have to have that employee come back to you. They'll have access directly on employee self-service. As well, an employee can even request time off in employee self-service. They'll be able to see their bank time, see any requests that they may have submitted, or even create brand new requests. Select the, the bank that they're pulling from, the dates that they're selecting to send off to, and told in total hours, and it will be sent to their manager for approval. As a manager, they'll be able to view those requests from each individual employee as well as have a full time off calendar to be able to see what employees have requested that has been approved or has been approved. As a manager as well, they'll be able to view their direct report compensation history. At all times, you'll be able to view the current information first and foremost. And then if they need to view a history, they can select the individual employee and view their history. Same thing for the job, performance reviews, emergency contact information. If we're ever inside the solution and we need to move from employee to employee, say we are trying to look at the history of compensation for each employee that reports to a manager, they can log into it and hit next to quickly move employee by employee as well. Now, we spoke earlier about the notes inside the solution where an employee may have contacted HR about an issue with an employee so they can see these notes here in HR as an author so the manager wouldn't see it. At the same time, a, a manager can come into the, their notes section, select the employee they're looking to work with, and only view the notes that they have that capability of viewing. They can set follow-up dates, add in brand new notes, schedule their own follow-up, and then have the ability to type in note types that they have that access for. Type in their note, very generic note, but it gets the point across. Save it, and it's going to show up in HR. As well, if you ever do have employees that are taking maybe an extended leave of absence or, um, or taking a week off, things will still need to be approved. So we allow your managers to assign temporary approvers. They would select the employee that they're going to have all of their approval requests route to, and then whenever they return to work, they'll be able to turn it right off right when they log into the system. That's all that I had scheduled for presentation today. Uh, I know you may have questions, so my email address is on this page, as well as you're more than welcome to reach out to to Angela for questions, but we also do have two other webcasts coming up soon. We have Taking Control of Your Time and Attendance as well as more in-depth on paperless HR. And these are scheduled for October 19th and November 16th, respectively. I'm going to turn this back over to you, Angela, if you have any closing notes. Sorry about that, Ryan. I had you on mute. Thank you so very, very much for this informative uh, presentation. I hope uh, everyone has um, uh, benefited from the information uh, that uh, Ryan has provided us. We're going to open now the forum to any questions and answers. Uh, we do have uh, the ability to um, use the chat room, or if you like, the um, uh, have any questions uh, verbally, please uh, do not hesitate. So uh, we'll, um, we'll ask, um, uh, let us know uh, what, what information you would like us to, to provide you with.